So uh, you you were inspired by your uh, by by being uninspired by where you were. You know. Yeah, basically it. That's great. That's a great story, David. Um, Thank you. I'm I'm proud of you, man. You're doing great. Shut up, money. Yeah. Focused on what you were we were talking about last week. So the with the listen everything, I saw like um, that it's just waste not wasting my time, but like you know, go after the people that are really motivated. Yeah. So what I did was I did another text blast on Craigslist or for sale by owner and I did it upstate New York and I came back with a couple good results from Bingham, Binghamton, okay. by Binghamton University. Okay. And so this one lady, let me pull up the um, conversation. Um, she, she, I sent out the text and she goes, let me see, I'm going to try to find it. I, she says, she says, you would be the one purchasing the home. I said, yes, the tenant would be purchasing the home at your asking price. Would you be able to talk tomorrow? She says, I could talk on Sunday. So I text her back. I said, okay, we'll talk then. So I had to run around. My kid had a basketball game. I get back. I'm home Sunday. And I'm like, I really don't feel like talking to anybody right now. Right. But I was like, well, I'm going to do it. I call her and she's a, a definitive yes. Like, Yes, that you know that would be the case scenario. <laughs> and I'm sitting on the phone. And I'm, I had like a earbuds, and I'm like, uh, uh, okay, yeah, that that's great. And so I was kind of, <laughs> kind of me off real quick. And so, long story short, she has a renter in there. The renter moves out February. Oh, great. And so she was looking for somebody to rent it, and she and I said, well, you know, we can get somebody in there, and they'd be actually not only willing to pay you rent, but actually purchase your home. And she said, that'd be the best case scenario. So I said, okay, well, I'm going to send you over the packet information right now. And uh, I'll have the contract to you in the morning. I sent her the, the information over. I follow, I let her know I was going to text her as soon as I sent over the informational packet. And then I said that tomorrow I'll text you when I send the contract. I text, I send out the contract the next day from dot loop. I explained to her the whole thing. And I, I didn't hear back from her yesterday, so I said I was going to call her today to see if you know if there's anything if she got a chance to look at the contract and if there's yeah. anything that she was concerned about it, if she needed me to make yeah. any change. And that's it. Great, that's great. And I got that's another awesome. one on the same list, also. That's super good. Yeah. Good. So um, you you were inspired by your um, by by being uninspired by where you were, you know? Yeah, basically it. Yeah. That's great. That's a great story, David. Um, yeah, thank you. I, I'm, I'm proud of you, man. You're doing great. Uh, how long you been doing this uh, with, with you and me? I don't remember. Maybe a couple months. Month? A, a month, some month Almost, and a half. A little bit over a month, January. <laughs> yeah. I think the end of December is when you came on with me. Yeah, almost two, and, almost two months. Yeah, and it's February eighteenth today. So, mm -hmm. yeah, nice, nice job, man. Right on time. Good. <laughs> uh, but the question I have to you is now. So I left her a voicemail and I told her I would call her. How much is two follow up? Like she's when I spoke to her, she was driving down to Virginia Beach. So I don't know if she was going down for like vacation. She didn't really specify. She said, "You know, what, yeah. I'm driving down to Virginia Beach." Yeah, let's role play it. You be her. Well, ring, I, ring. Hello. Yeah, this is David. Uh, hey. Yeah, how how are you? You doing okay? Good. How are you? Yeah, I'm doing fine. Hey, I know you're busy this week traveling and doing all kinds of things, but I'm real excited to get started on this. And I and I was just wondering if if uh, if there was a plan to get the the thing signed today. I would love that. Nothing more than that. I would love that. Got it. Got it. Okay. <laughs> now I, I left her a voicemail yesterday. Okay. So now, I and I said, hey, I, I just want to get started. I, I just want. I sent you over the contract. I don't know if you. I actually said the same thing. I was like, I know yeah. you. You might be busy. Uh, I just want to get the, see if you got a chance to take a look at it. if there were any questions or concerns that you had, so I could address yeah. them. And you know, I want to get started so that way we can get that tenant buyer in there to take yeah. this, this problem off your hands. 
And I left yeah. it like I said, I'll call you tomorrow. And that was it. That's what I left it at. Okay. Okay. Um, you said you knew that she was traveling too. She's going to Virginia Beach, so she's on the road. Yes. She might feel like she doesn't have time or she is kind of reverted back to old school ways of thinking she has to print something off. Okay. Uh, you know, when it's actually dot loop or DocuSign or something. Mm -hmm. So that, that'd be my guess. Um, I would, I don't think you can follow up too much at this point. It's just a matter of, uh, catching up with her really. I don't think she's, I don't, I don't think she's telling, you no. I think she's just genuinely busy. Sounds like she's not even home. So yesterday was a holiday kind of, I didn't even want to do anything yesterday. (laughs) Okay. So maybe follow up with her like maybe like Friday or is that too far? I'd follow up with her today again. Okay. Yeah. And then if she doesn't answer today, then what do I do? How then I then I would follow up on Friday. Okay. I'd give her I I'd 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 act like I maybe tomorrow I would just act like uh in Thursday that I forgot about her. See if she gets okay. antsy at all. But okay. I don't think she's it does, she hasn't given you any indication that she's not uh, not not going to do the deal. No, and you know what? I checked the area. So the comps in the area, I mean, it came to like, she's asking 191. The comps were like maybe like 180. But like appreciation over the year, I think it would get to the 191. It's in an A-class yeah. neighborhood, great yeah. schools, and not far from from big university. It doesn't get any better than that, David. That's perfect. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I mean, you know, like you said, the, it's a little over equity, uh, you know, over the what it's worth, but you got time. So okay. that's good. How many How many months did you uh, get her to agree to? 24. I asked her which would she perfect. prefer. And then also I asked her how much was the mortgage, and she told me 1400 And I said, you well, you know what? I might be able to do a little bit better for you. I could probably get you maybe fifteen hundred a month, so that way you can cash flow about a hundred dollars positive every month after yeah. they pay the rent. And she said that would be great. Yeah, great man. You're a heck of a salesman. Isn't <laughs> you? Once Thank you, you. What, what you work, man, that's amazing. Yeah, so I got a couple more uh, in the works, and then also the other day the the in the um the private group that we were texting so. I started playing around with, with prop. I've had yeah. prop stream for on and off. Like I think I had one subscription. I canceled it and I rejoined again, like yeah. a couple of months ago. And I use it not only to run comps, but so that niche list that you and, and Burton were talking about. So I, what I yeah. did was I took my market area since I wasn't that successful yeah. in, in the, uh, with the text blast over in my area. Mm-hmm. And I did 10 years of um, ownership plus vacant. Yeah. Yeah, and then I looked at each and there's, and I got five really good properties that um that are the one I was actually looking at it right before I spoke to you this morning. Um, so they're in pre foreclosure. They it failed MLS when they listed it, and yeah. um they listed it for such a low price. If I could just get in touch with her, I, I'm pretty sure I can make a deal yeah. out of it. Yeah. So it's kind of like you're you're finding the right spots in the woods to hunt in, you know, that's kind of like what it's like to me. I'm not a big hunter, but it's, you know, it seems like a decent analogy in it. Mm-hmm. And that's, that's important for people to do. You're, you know, you're, you're kind of special in that you're picking this up on your own. It takes sometimes people a long time to figure out that that's really the game is figuring out where you want to go hunting <laughs> and then going. Mm-hmm. Uh, so man, kudos to you. Great, great stories. Now, the, the question I have, so I have a, a been verified account. I noticed that, so I wanted to, to put it up against like um, a prop stream and, and the automated REI on the skip tracing. Okay. Okay. So I submitted it. I got the same numbers back on all of them. So okay. I, I, I thought been verified was like a horrible service. I was getting ready to cancel it. But then I actually, this is like the third or fourth time that some, yeah. somebody else has told me like, no, keep it. It's actually really good. And yeah. you get your answers right away. Yeah. But the numbers I called out um, to two people on Sunday before I spoke, after I spoke to um, the one lady that I got the agreement and just no answer. I don't know if maybe Sunday's not a good day. I'm going to call today because yeah. I'm off. Yeah. Yeah. Call today. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, there's no better time than now. And yeah, Sunday, exactly. sun, you know, Sunday is a, a day off for a lot of people. It was a holiday weekend, too. Might have even been gone. Who knows? Mm -hmm. You know, uh, a lot of this game is, is following up with the right people. And that may be the right person. You don't know. But this other one, that's definitely <laughs> – I'd follow yeah. up with that person every day, maybe even. Um, mm -hmm. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. She said yes. Uh she led you to believe you have a deal. So there's nothing wrong with calling that lady. I'd call her today for sure. Um, I would say too, on this one, I want to make sure that you have kind of like the strengthening, the clothes thing, you know, you've got a grasp on that. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So when you were talking to her and you said you were going to send her the agreement and she understood she was ready to do it. Did, you know, did you set up a time at that time? Yes. To, okay. To, okay. To let her know that I gave her the, I framed it so that it would be, yeah. I said, I'm going to send you a, give me, I'm going to send it to you the, the contract. I mean the, um, the informational packet. So you have any questions or concerns, yeah. they'll probably be in there. I said, I'll send it to you immediately. I sent it to her immediately. I checked over it like 10 times to make sure there was nothing in it that, uh, yeah from what yeah. we had to change. Yeah. And then I said, I text her, I said, actually, you know, I have the, the exact text message I sent her because I have a, let me see. Um, text message. I said, so I spoke to her and I, after I spoke to her, I said, hi, Kathy, I just emailed over to you the information packet. I should have a contract to you by the morning. Have a wonderful night. Then in the morning, I sent her another text saying, good morning, Kathy. I just sent over the contract to you. When you get a chance, please look it over and let me know if there's anything that needs to be changed. If there are no corrections, you can sign it and send it back via dot loop. I asked her, would you be able to send me some pictures of inside the house so we can start screening some tenants? Yeah. What did she say back? Anything? She didn't reply back. That's my only concern. Okay. Yeah. Well, don't worry about it. Just call her. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay. What I recommend, did a lot of this happen over text or did you talk to the lady for a long time over the phone? Um, over the phone. And it was then, not a nine minute conversation over the phone. Okay. Okay. And then it went to text after that. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. In the future, what you're going to want to do is while you're on the phone, um, say what you said over text like okay hey i'll send you the informational agreement i'll you know i'll give me your email address i'll send the the agreement i mean the informational package and then i'll send you the the agreement as well for your review and and signature if you like it um and then i want to call you tonight at 6 30 if i haven't if you haven't signed it yet then there must be some questions or something and i'd like to be available uh, for you at 6 30 tonight Okay. to answer any more questions that you may have. And if, if I do answer your questions and you feel comfortable with me and with the situation, what happens then? Okay. That's what I'll ask. What happens then? Cause I want to hear them say to me, Oh, uh, well, if it sounds good at six 30, I'll do it. Okay. And then that way I'm not chasing, 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 chasing. I know that it's six 30 tonight. They're either going to blow me off tell me no, or we're going to answer a few questions and do the deal. Okay. But, it, but it's not going to be like I'm chasing them tomorrow, the next day, Friday, they're out of town and it's like next week. You know what I mean? But yeah. that's how I handle it. Could, could you have handled it that, that way this time or did it just kind of, kind of fly together so quickly that no, I definitely could have, I definitely had time to actually say that to her. Like I can send it to you right yeah. now. I'll send you the information packet now. Yeah. I should have got that in there. I know the one area that I didn't really get a chance to get to with it was um, building rapport with her because I asked her, I said, well, how long have you lived there? And, you know, yeah. and she said, well, it's just a rental property. She didn't really go into anything else. It seemed that she was more about, you know, I just want to get this problem off my hands. So I stayed yeah. with the problem part. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You know, the way you described it, you were sitting on the couch after a long day on the weekend and here you go. Uh, bada bing, bada boom. Uh, she's right off the bat, ready to go. 
yeah. <laughs> which is which is the most dangerous prospect there is. Remember, uh, I've said that to you before. I think when we first started, mm-hmm. and because they've got nowhere to go, they're a ten on the motivation scale. They got nowhere to go but down. Mm-hmm. So you know they kind of caught you off guard a little bit too. Um, it's all it's all new stuff. Um, it's a new experience to hear somebody do that. That's a mm-hmm. motivated seller. So I get where <laughs> where you would have been, like maybe not at the tippy top of your game and during that conversation. Mm-hmm. Uh, I've been there before myself, but I think it's going to be fine, man. Okay. I think you'll be fine on that one. Yeah. Okay. And congratulations, dude. Thank I mean, you. Really, Thank you. you. I'm, I'm really proud of you. You're doing great. Well, it comes from like your coaching and, and other people that have given me little golden nuggets here and there in the Zoom room, like mm-hmm. listening to everybody, uh, Mike Batista and everybody. You guys have some good, some heavy hitters in there. You could tell. Yeah. Yeah. The VIP room and uh, yeah, all that stuff. Uh, we try to try to make it where, you know, you can get out of it what you want to get out of it. Unfortunately, there's some people that get nothing out of it. Can you believe that? <laughs> not That's what it is. they have to be engaged like i might not yeah. like talk all the time but like if i have anything i'll throw it in there like hey yeah. listen try this you know i'd like some time for you to tell me um you know we don't have to do it today but we, we can um we have a little bit of time left but um i want to answer any questions you have and stuff i don't want to waste your time with this but i'd like for you sometime to critique the the uh the coaching and the courses and the entire package, the VIP room and, and uh, maybe just write a paragraph or two or whatever you can and just really, really be just gut honest with me and say, you know, the courses are the good information, but it's hard to figure out where to go next, you know, whatever it is, just be honest with me (laughs) because I want to, I want to be better is what I'm saying as a coach. And so it helps when I get feedback. Okay, uh, the one thing I could say, so I listen to you, uh, yeah. what you're saying, like, so my foundation for wholesaling, I got it from um, Tommy Holt Jr., Okay. He's and he has a course that, that he does. He also does the same thing what you do with the, um, the Zoom um, classes mm-hmm. and everything, but with that, I'm learning about how to, to get uh, private capital together, um, Airbnb, yeah. some properties, yeah. stuff like that. With you, it's more like no, you need to get like your foundation with the creative financing. Like that, yeah. that was a that's a great, yeah. you know, way because sometimes it's not always going to be a wholesale deal. Yeah. You know? and then that's exactly. why when you when you first started coaching me, and you said, well, how about you know, owning a property and still getting cash flow off it? I was like, oh, that sounds great, but uh, I kind of don't really know that. Nobody yeah. broke it down for me to understand how to yeah. do creative financing. I, you just have such a simple, easy way for, for us to understand it. Yeah, thank There's you. people I know that don't even know about like lease options. They don't yeah. understand it. But then once yeah. you broke it down to me, so I think that that's the best part. Like mm. with the wholesaling, everybody knows the 70% minus, yeah. you know, repair costs and then your assignment deal. But yeah. the creative financing with, that you show us, that's a big, big thing. Cause I think wow. there's no meat on the bone in a lot of deals. Yeah. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. Being a well-rounded wholesaler, being a professional real estate wholesaler, you, not just a one trick pony. That's, that's kind of my thing. Um, but I don't know what to call it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Everybody has an angle, right? But they ha they have a name for it. Like Joe McCall is simple lease options and, uh, Joe Bodek is, something else. And then Justin Wilmot's the 10 hour wholesaler. And he doesn't talk about the creative side at all. Um, he's another one of those guys, but, but his content's good on what he does talk about. But so I wish I had like a cool name <laughs> for what I do. You know what? It doesn't you don't even need to have a cool way because people know to get the information, uh, listen to, listen to, to Justin because it's the sandwich lease. Is there another name for sandwich lease options? Yeah, see, that's what I'm talking about. I wish I could come up with something that was like, that, you know, something that was cool and flashy and fresh and mine, you know, and be like, oh, if you want to learn, you know, that, you, you can only learn that from just. <laughs> no, but I'm telling uh, you, it works. It, it, it's so, so dude, I don't know what it is. 
I, I appreciate it. It works for those of you that work it. That's mm-hmm. the thing, man. It does not work for everybody because not everybody works it. But man, you're actually, you know, doing it. You're applying yourself. Your 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 mind is growing, and your skills are growing, and your results are growing. Period. I mean, that's mm-hmm. it, man. I love you. <laughs> I love you too, man. Like I gotta say, you know what it is? It's your circle of. I forgot how it goes, but they say your your net worth is worth is is a reflection. Yeah. Net worth, yeah. but I'll say like, especially with the the way that things go, like so. I'm in New York. You're in Kansas City. Yeah. There's nobody here in New York. Maybe there is. I don't know. But like, when you can't get the information here, and you have to expand out the the, the five people that you're around the most, or that you have most yeah. contact with, that's what's that's how that's a direct reflection of how big you're going to grow. And I think the Zoom room having the the Saturday morning classes, all that helps your mind really grow. Yeah. And it, it makes yeah. you get better at it. Yeah. It's unfortunate that people blow that off sometimes. Uh, they see a guest speaker and they're like, oh, no. Oh, by the way, man, Terrence Brown. Have you heard of him? Not, I'm not. No, I haven't. Dr. Terrence Brown is uh, Europe's, that's the European leader of entrepreneur. He's, he's, he's like the leading expert. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. In Europe. And, uh, he's going to be on the Saturday show on the 29th of this month. Mm -hmm. Uh, if you can make it there, man, with a unmuted mic and stuff, you ought to really, you know, ask this dude questions. He's from DC, uh, originally Washington DC. And, uh, he's just a cool dude, man. Super smart too. Uh, it would be a great, a, a great thing for you to meet that guy. I'll be there. I'll, even even Saturday, my mic was mu- muted. My my furnace went out, and I had to replace the filter. So I was I was listening to it while I was driving to Home Depot, getting the filter, and then get back and changing it. But you know, just the questions, the unbar questions, and people just yeah, it's just very. I don't know what it is. It's it, you learn more than it's like okay, class, we're gonna do A, B, I and agree, C, and the, turn the page. No, it's it's interactive. I like yeah, it. Yeah, I like it too. The one thing I would say, like you said, if there's anything I could critique, yeah. so your, your, um, your YouTube, like the way that the, the classes are. Yeah. Uh, so I know you have it in, in playlists and then you go to simple lease options. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Is there like from the, from going to your website, you click that and then it opens up the playlist. I don't know if this is there an easier way that says, you know, beginning wholesaling, start here. Like, I, I don't know. Is there anything to do like that? You'll, you'll have to show me what you mean. Okay. I don't know. I don't think I fully understand. It's like, I'm trying to think. So um, when you log into the, the wholesalers, um, the, the real estate wholesalers club. Yeah, is is yeah. there a way to like put all the videos right there instead of clicking, go on and click each one? Like, listen, start here or, or cause you kind of get a choice of where do you want to go to? Like, I think the, the anybody that's starting should start yeah. with, where you, where you say is the best part place to start. Yeah. They shouldn't be able to go. I mean, if they want to, they can go, but yeah. they should be, you start here. Yeah. That's what it should be. I've been thinking on that, that you got something there, man. Um, like a one, two, three, yes. like that's what yeah. I was thinking. Um, and I've been, yeah, this weekend I've been kicking that around. How can I make that more simple for people? And I, it just ain't developed in how it should look to me yet. But if you got ideas on that, let me know. Cause you're right, man. I agree. There's a, um, yeah. uh, Kujabi. That's like one, that's like a teachable thing where you can put yeah. all your, your videos in here. Yeah. And it's like, this is step one of wholesaling. Here's the okay. three videos about how to do it. Yeah. The simple way, wholesale, the 70% rule, you know, determining ARV, yeah. doing this. Yeah. And you go to step two, which is going to be like your, your um, wholesale lease options, yeah. or sandwich lease options. And you can go there and do it. And you kind of, you lay out the, the format for it. So it would be like, you know, beginning wholesaling. This is what you need to do. Yeah. Find a buyer, this video. And it's like short videos and you can say, like, the way that you have it on YouTube is great because you put, you know, this is your homework that I want you to do tonight. 
And yeah. the same thing, you could do the same video and say, this is what your homework is for tonight or for this part of the video. Yeah. And then that way they, they can see their progress. And in some way that it checks it off, like says, okay, you watched this video, you did this. Yeah, you know? and, I know, and then you can I know, put you're your, so right. And all your documents, you can put all your documents, um, uh, anything that you would need in there too. So that, that way they can pull it up from there. Yeah, I like it. I like it, man. And you're right. I 100% agree. And I'm kind of, I'm picturing it as you describe it. And, and, <laughs> and, and believe me, man, I've had some, some of these similar thoughts too, like where, where it will check off progress and, uh, where when I, when I give assignments for homework, I can also give a, a video set to go along with that, to, to explain that particular homework assignment, you know, mm -hmm. stuff like that. Like, I think that's kind of what you're talking about too. Yes. And then that's completed and then you yeah. can move on. You could go back and review, but it's completed and it shows completed. That's kick ass. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah, I like it. Well, what what can I do for you, David? Um, um I have two you? questions. Yeah, what's up? Uh, so I remember from one of your YouTube videos you said the, uh that you would give out the co wholesale for the market city in my area. Can yeah. I still get access to that from your team? Um, I sell the product now, so I don't have anybody doing it as far as VAs okay. anymore, but I okay. sell the machine that does it. It's, uh, it's the one minute leads. Oh, I, I did it. I bought it. Okay. Okay. So you got it. Yeah. So yeah. what you'll want to do is you'll put the keywords in there. It'll be like, we buy houses or stuff that wholesalers use to market those keywords. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, um, uh, Yeah. Like okay. it'll, it'll, it's great, man. I love it. I bought that. So I have lifetime access to it now. Yeah. It. Yeah. No monthly fees, nothing. Yeah. It, it's, it's crazy to have that tool. I mean, it, I've used it. I've gotten way more money out of it than I ever put in at 67 bucks. <laughs> so yeah, that's how you do it. Now, how, how did you use, what did you do to use it? That you, that you, you're just reversing it to see who's saying that they are looking to buy houses and you call them and say, Hey, I got this house under contract. You know, you have any buyers? No, here? no. Uh -uh. What I did was, is once I'm in an area in a market area that I'm, I'm doing lease options in, I'll also pull a list of wholesalers, active wholesalers in there. It's if I have a cash buyers list. Okay. In that area, I'll, I'll go ahead and have a, um, a list pulled of the JV partner potential prospects that w other wholesalers. So I'll, I'll have it searched keywords like we buy houses, handyman, special fixer upper, all that stuff. And then compiled on a spreadsheet. Of course it's, it's all the active wholesalers in that market area and their contact information. So then we can get on their buyers list and we can get their property deal sent to us. And we can contact them and say, Hey, you know, this property deal that you sent to us, we think we have a buyer that would be interested in it. Would you consider a joint venture? Uh -huh. You know, so we, we, again, it's being a full fledged, well-rounded wholesaler, you know, okay. so we got the creative side that we're doing the lease options. We got the ugly house cause we got a cash buyers list. And then we also mm -hmm. have the ability to joint venture with other wholesalers cause we have maybe more going on than they do. Okay. Does that make sense what I'm saying, man? No, it does. It does. And I, I, I bought the, the one minute leads, but I was so focused on getting lease option deal. So yeah. I'm going to go back and pull with that. That's great yeah. that you, that you told me about that. Yeah. Uh, See, and then so, something else. So, like, so real quick, when, when you get on the phone, it's either going to be mm -hmm. usually a homeowner that's with a pretty house, right? No, no equity, pretty house lease option deal, or you're going to be talking to a homeowner with an ugly deal. And it's a discounted cash offer, or you're probably going to accidentally run into some wholesalers, right? Mm -hmm. And then you're going to be able to say, Hey, listen, man, um, I've got a great cash buyers list. Would you be interested in joint venturing? So this is just a way of, you know, grabbing more deals out of a market area. Yeah. Okay. Um, I like that. And something else, uh, Mike Batista said the other day, uh, Mike said was, that yard sale app, that thing is gold about going to like estate sales and being there. Yeah. And then you go and you're like, Hey, uh, by chance are you selling on the house? Some people yeah. said, Oh, they took my information. They said they would call me. They're like, you know, we are considering 
you know, selling the house. And then I have to reach back out to somebody about that. So that was a good, another gold nugget. That's a great, that's a great idea. Sure uh, and then my, my last question is, how do you choose what deals you want to make a sandwich lease option versus a regular lease option? The sandwich lease options have to have a monthly spread. So I have to be paying the homeowner a thousand a month, for example, and mm -hmm. I'm collecting 14 50 out of the tenant buyer. So it's got to be worth my time monthly. Okay. And then secondly, on one that I'm going to stay in the middle of the back end, the equity, the property is worth 200,000, but I only have an agreement to pay off the loan balance, which will be in two years, um, 168,000. So there's like, you know, what is that? $32,000 worth of equity in the back end. I'm going to, I'm going to capture that for myself. And when my tenant buyer buys, I'll grab that. So that's what, that's when you do it. But if it's a skinny now, deal, yeah. at least a wholesale. Okay. But now you're saying cap capture that equity. So I get yeah. what you're saying. So it's a $200,000, it's worth 200,000. They, they've paid 168. Yeah. So now how are you, how are you actually capturing that $32,000? Yeah. Oh, okay. So when the tenant buyer, when I get it under contract with the homeowner for 168,000, let's say, mm -hmm. and then I go to sell it to the tenant buyer for 210,000. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cause it's really worth about 200. So there's some equity there that the seller's leaving. Then I sell it to the homeowner, to the tenant buyer uh, as a new home for, for 210. So when they buy it for 210, I, I still only have to give the homeowner 168. So I get the difference between 168 and 210. Oh, uh, okay, okay, okay. okay. Bada bing, bada it. boom. See, smartest cat it. in the room. Okay. <laughs> yeah, uh, I see what you're saying. So you're only lease the sandwich lease option with the with the on the the first agreement with the the homeowner is for only the balance was which oh the 168. Yeah. And then you're gonna get and then you sell. To your end buyer, your tenant yeah. buyer, that yeah. two ten. Now you're getting the thirty two plus another ten. That's forty two thousand dollars you're gonna get at the end. Plus forty, plus forty four hundred and fifty dollars a month in in spread. Cash yeah. flow. Yep. Yeah, got that's it. when I do it. Yeah, that's okay. worth doing. It's worth okay. doing. I got to run, man. I got another guy I got to chat with, David. But okay. hey, thanks for thanks for your uh, your your positive criticisms, man. They're no well problem. noted. I, I, I love it. And uh, I want to definitely incorporate some of those ideas because they're super good. Um, and that's why I asked you because no <laughs> I, I knew you'd shoot straight with me and tell me, <laughs> yeah, you should change that up. Okay. <laughs> hey, All right, love Justin. Talk to you next week, man. Yep. Talk to you then. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Shut up. <laughs>